Hi everyone! Welcome to VictoriaPiking.com and today we're again with my friend Teresa Ho! Oh. And today is non-GMO Wednesdays? Mm -hmm. is, is it Wednesday? Yeah, <laughs> it's Wednesday. And we're going to cover a little bit more about the GMOs and what is it and uh, I will ask a couple more questions and we'll know a little bit more after this video. So let's start. Okay, and my first question is what is genetic modification? Where, where we're going to the... what is it? Okay, so genetically engineering is the scientific term for what they are doing with our food now and what we are um, not wanting. So what they do is they, they take um, DNA from different species to affect different results that they want and they insert it into the DNA of the plant that they're modifying or that they're engineering and they add virus, they can add a combination of viruses, bacteria, DNA even from animals, um, it's totally foreign and um, it's called, the proper term is called recumbent DNA, so R-DNA and uh, this does not happen in nature and nobody knows what happens to this food when it hits our gut. Not good, trust me. Not something that it should happen. And another thing that I think that they insert it inside the DNA by using viruses. Yes, it's and the way. Victoria, I forgot to mention another very um, dangerous thing that they're doing is they actually insert herbicides and pesticides right into the DNA of the food. So for corn, for example, that they feed all of our animal crops and it's in now 80% of all our packaged processed foods, the hard corn, it, they insert a um, pesticide called Bt. And actually the corn is actually classified as a pesticide itself, the vegetable. Yes, and no one ever checked it on human safety more than three months, as far as I remember. That's correct. And it's scary because... Oh, actually that's not quite correct. There has been absolutely no animal testing done by the uh, approving government body. So um, Health Canada and the same in the States, their FDA. FDA, there is no animal testing required. So they do three month studies and uh, they're very short term, they're not done with animals and our governments do not ask for anything more than that. And these studies are done by the companies that are selling it and have the money to make from the sales. So, okay, I'm not going to say anything. Think for yourself how it works. It's scary, pretty much. And um, a lot of people say that genetic modification have been done for years. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a point to it. Mm -hmm. So um, explain how it works and why it's different, so much different from the genetic modification that we did for at least 10,000 years now. Yeah, good question, Victoria. There's a lot of confusion in the public about this. Um, genetic modification has been done for centuries, but it is very different. They are not inserting species, different DNA from different species into the DNA of whatever they're modifying. They are not inserting bacteria and uh, viruses and pesticides and herbicides. So the process is very different. Um, genetically, GMO, um, that's a term that um, has come out from our government supports, the BioCorp support, support um, perhaps because it sounds a lot less scary than genetic engineering, but that's where they created the confusion. It is very different. Yeah, it's just taking. It means just that you're taking the best crops and put them in the soil next year. That's it. It's genetic modification that we did for centuries. Oh, they they graft and there's yeah. different ways where they've combined, um, even with animals, like with you know different species of dogs. But they're allowing nature to take its process. In, in they are not yeah. inserting foreign DNA and all this other. Um, pesticides and chemicals and that sort of thing into the DNA. Let's talk safety. What do you think about safety of this uh, product? Uh, 
Well, as we have just mentioned, there is no animal studies done before these foods are approved. And um, so if you hear reports and scientists saying this is all safe, um, they are not telling you the truth. What the scientists, um, there's a group in Europe, you can find the document online, perhaps we can yeah. link it um, so that I'm going people... to link all of this information down below, and I think we are going to link TED Talks for, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dr. Thierry Vrain has got the science behind the genetically engineering. Yeah, it's very interesting to see, and I, I will link it here probably in the link below, and I will uh, link two videos, one full length, and one is shorter version, so you can look both of them if you have time. I think this is for today, and thank you for being here with us. Mm -hmm. And we will see you next week on non-GMO Wednesdays. Wednesdays, I need to remember the day. Yeah. So thank you so much. <laughs> You're very welcome, my pleasure. Thanks for being with us. Yes, and as usual, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, write me a comment, thumbs up me. And subscribe for more video recipes. Yes, and I'm cooking non-gym all organic food. Very healthy for you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and subscribe and see you next time. Write me a comment what you think about the issue. And see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. You know.